knife attacker who brutally murdered a vulnerable man after he was lured to a remote area was yesterday jailed for life. Joseph McIntyre, 35, was ordered to serve at least 23 years in prison for his part in the slaying of Darren Sinclair. McIntyre's co-accused Robert Dunn, 21, was jailed for 11 years after he was convicted of the lesser crime of culpable homicide for his role in the killing. Mr. Sinclair was stabbed through the heart before being abandoned at Wasteland in Glasgow's Drum Chapel area in November last year. Darren Sinclair. He suffered 10 stab wounds in the fatal assault. A judge told McIntyre at the High Court in Edinburgh, on the evidence this was a cowardly, brutal attack with a weapon on a vulnerable individual who had been lured to a remote location. Lord Kinclavin said it was clear from victim statements the whole family of the deceased have been left devastated by his loss. The judge warned McIntyre that the 23-year punishment part imposed on him did not necessarily mean he would be released on license at the end of that minimum term. Lord Kinclavin told Dunn, clearly there is no alternative to a significant custodial sentence. No other method of dealing with you is appropriate. The judge said that he took into account that Dunn was a first offender who was convicted of a lesser crime. Joseph McIntyre has been jailed for life. Lord Kinclavin said he had noted Dunn's expressions of remorse and regret, including feelings of disgust. The court heard that 27-year-old Mr. Sinclair was the victim of an attack months earlier, causing him a brain injury, and spoke to police about the incident. This led to graffiti being daubed in the area, including, Sinkies of Grass. McIntyre and Dunn were earlier convicted of fatally attacking Mr. Sinclair on November 6 by repeatedly punching him and repeatedly striking him with a knife at ground at Invercanny Place, in Drum Chapel. While in hiding in the wake of the killing McIntyre told a ten-year-old girl that he had stabbed someone. Their trial heard that Mr. Sinclair was allegedly assaulted earlier in 2018 and later spoke to police, before leaving for England but he returned to Drum Chapel two days before his death and went to a local fireworks display on November 5th. The court heard there were concerns about his safety. He visited a betting shop and McIntyre was seen peering in at a window looking for him. Advocate Deputy Jane Farquhar and QC told jurors that McIntyre was then never far away from his victim. McIntyre and Dunn then ended up with Mr. Sinclair at a dark and isolated spot where the attack on him was launched. The prosecutor said there was a calculated and quite sinister aspect to the killing. Mr. Sinclair was also slashed across the face in the attack and was found by a passerby. After tea for more on this story, visit the news article link.